What's going on with y'all, man? Welcome back to Healthy Don't Hurt. My name is E-Man, back with another fire video on a Wednesday, because you know we came to get it popping. All right, guys, today's video is about people crashing out over this Donald Trump win. Man, y'all are tripping out here in the streets, these digital streets. You know, I found this post on Facebook, okay? If somebody's crashing out on Facebook, it reads the following. I have no words, and my heart is so heavy. I am devastated, destroyed, and truly terrified for the people that I love. If you voted for him or are otherwise pleased at the outcome, you need to remove yourself from my life. And I mean that with my whole entire chest. You are effing dead to me. <laughs> I got 15 likes and five comments. Now, I wish there was a dislike button simply for the fact that this is extremely overdramatic, not because she's sad and is frustrated over the loss, you know. That's her own right, and I don't judge people. I don't care who you voted for. I'm going to be honest with you, you know. Just because you, just because your opinion differs from mine doesn't mean that you're a bad person, okay. I have emotional intelligence and emotional maturity, something this person severely lacks, and I feel like a lot of people lack emotional maturity because why are you so distraught? Um, you know, over Kamala losing. Like, I get it. You know, people people can't stand to see Donald Trump. But, you know, your your her whole life isn't over to say that you're devastated. OK, destroyed. Hmm, I wouldn't say destroy. You feel me? Like people that get in car accidents, they can't walk anymore due to a spinal injury. That's destroyed. You know, your family like dies in a fire. That's your life being destroyed. You know, like you, you petting, you know, you petting some orangutans in a zoo enclosure and the orangutan rips your dong off and throws it, you know, into, into the woods that, 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 that is your life being destroyed. You feel me? <laughs> like, let, let's, let's not, let's not get carried away. You know, I feel like a lot of people are getting carried away and for, for you to say, I am truly terrified for the people that I love. Like he is some type of of Italian mobster is wild. Like people got to calm down guys. And I, I told y'all in a previous video as well, man, just try to try to maintain your mental health if you lost. And even if you win and you're feeling some anxiety or even like, you know, winner's remorse because, you know, maybe your wife is a Kamala supporter or your friends or you, you wanted to root for Kamala because she's a woman, but you still voted against her. You know, just take care of your mental, your mental health. Just sit down, drink some tea, you know, roll one up, <laughs> you know, say what's up to Jose Corvo. You know, you spend some time with, with uh, Jose. Ain't nothing wrong with it. You know, or Jim Bean. Jim Bean's a cool dude, too. You know, ha hang out with your little bottle your little bottle buddies and uh you know just just let it marinate for a little while it'll be all right it's not the end of the world um i think it, i think it's funny though bro i think it's funny you know it's, it's not that real it's not that deep um unfortunately this is the world that we live in though you know like this is one thing that's kind of like disturbing about like people taking this stuff too far is that let's say somebody sees this at her job and now their whole entire viewpoint changes because they found out she's a diehard uh, Kamala supporter to this magnitude. People at her job might judge her unfairly or treat her unfairly simply because of this. Um, you know, so this is kind of why I kind of keep my political stuff to myself and why I encourage others to not post on social media, especially Facebook and LinkedIn. But hey, y'all can do what y'all do. I ain't judging. You know, if you want to put yourself out publicly and uh, leave yourself exposed like a nerve, <laughs> you know, for, for, for people to see publicly free of charge and for them to just send it to your manager, go ahead. You know, go ahead. But you you won't catch me doing that. Oh, no. I hope I don't catch y'all doing that neither because that's a, it's a quick way to, to lose some paper or to not get a promotion because your manager you know, knows the way you think and doesn't agree with it. But hey, it is what it is, man. Let me know what you guys think. People are crashing out. Um, I'm sure therapists, I'm sure therapists are, are, are booked solid <laughs> for the next four years, which is, which is crazy, bro. It's not that real. Like, it's not that real. Like I'm laughing, but like, it's probably true. Like the anxiety that people are receiving, like this is like, I'm joking about this, but this is very much real. Like, I don't think that she's just saying this. Is she over exaggerating and getting herself worked up? Yes. But the feelings that this woman is feeling right now, I mean, hey, I can't tell her it's not valid, right? I can't tell her she's faking it because I'm not her, but she, she posted it. So it got to be real, you know? So this is, this is a real thing. People are tweaking out, bro. 
Like, it, it's a shame. Like, nothing will ever have me this upset or this route up. You would have to take money out of my pocket. <clears throat> And that's what I'll be trying to tell people. The president doesn't even have that much power to just, you know, isolate your life specifically and make it hell. Like, A, A, A they don't have enough power. B, you're, you're not that important. You know, you're not that important. So it's just kind of weird. It's just kind of weird. Like, you could do more for yourself and for others than the president ever could. I'm being, I'm keeping it a buck with you. So that, that's, that, that's why I try to just share my message, bro. Um, you know, and may, try to make the world a better place, you know, actually make the world a better place. I just, I just sent somebody a link, um, not too long ago. Um, I, or not a link. I just sent somebody a post in my comment section about how to get a good entry level job. And, uh, I'll be trying to help people out. You guys can check that out on my last post. Uh, very informative. If you want a high paying job with paid time off and good health insurance and this, this, that, and the third, you know, all that in a bag of chips, you can get that too. You can learn skills and it's free. I just showed you guys in the post I made, but, but yeah, anyway, man, people are crashing out. Go get your money. Uh, you know, whether Trump's in office, Biden's in office, Harris is in office, rent's due on the first. All right. We got to get this money straight up. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, this content and uh, please hit that like and sub button and uh, don't crash out like this person over here. Y'all take it easy. Peace.